Good afternoon. This is John Akim Olukai de Shumade of Agape Love International Ministry coming to you again with part two of Digging Deep to Love. We said last week that the woman dug deep to prevent the alligator taking away her son. Jesus Christ our Lord also is digging deep into our life to prevent Satan from taking us away from him. Today, in part two, I will start with the scripture, 1 John chapter 4, verse 18, which says, There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear. In this story, again taken from my book, The Fear Factor, I am reading again from page 112. And he says, in his book, The Christian Counselor, Manuel J. Adams, tells the story of a man with a phobia of crossing bridges. That means the man cannot cross bridges. He's afraid. He's fearful. But this same man who in the previous days refused to cross bridge, when he heard a road accident involving his children, the man drove endlessly over two bridges to reach them, experiencing no fear whatsoever in the process. Now, what has happened? This is the power of love that cast out fear. The power of love has terminated fear in him of crossing bridges. So love enabled our Lord Jesus Christ to go to the cross, endure the cross, in order to save us. Now, I am personally indebted to him. And so should you be for what he did on the cross of Calvary. And he did it so perfectly that you and I can reconnect back to, to the Lord himself. So I want to encourage you, let there be no fear in love. I'm going to illustrate this quickly. We may not finish this today. We're going to move on next week with the difference between fear and love. The first one, it says fear involves impending punishment. That means when you are afraid, you are, you, you, you are, you are thinking of punishment that was coming to you. But when you are in love, it says there is no fear in love. Secondly, fear is negatively contagious. But the same way fear negatively contagious, also love is positively contagious. Fear is the enemy of God. Love is the heart of the Father. When you love, you will go extra miles. So I want to encourage you the public. I want to encourage everyone that's listening to me today. Let perfect love cast out fear. Let us show the love of the Father. Let the depth of his love, let it saturate our life so we are in overflow and hence we can give to others. And I want to encourage you to love yourself as well because if you do not love yourself, it is very difficult to love other people according to what Jesus told us. So, accept God's gift. Accept who you are. Walk in who you are. And where there is uh, a need for a change, uh, now begin to go to the one who can give you that perfect gift uh, to change that area, to help you, so that you can be totally immersed in his love and you begin to show it to the world and so that this period of coronavirus this period when everybody is not loving one another you can make a change and then bring the kingdom onto the people thank you father lord thank you son as you enable the listener to show forth that love of god to the people around them and to love themselves in jesus name i pray amen